All right, Tragles, got a serious one for you today. I'm here to talk about mental health in sports. As you know, mental health has been on the rise in sports over the years, with little or no real support on how to tackle it. Even with support now, we still don't look for help with dealing with the issue. Men suffer in silence because it's not manly. To talk about your feelings shows weakness when you open up about what's on your mind, because we have to be the strong, reliable ones. Because as everyone knows, men have to be men. men are tough as nails nothing can ever get to a man it is a man's world after all we've all had a moment in our life where everything just gets a little too much whether or not you want to admit it whether or not you say it to someone whether or not you want to try and convince yourself and we use sports as a breakaway from the real struggles in life but sometimes it's the sports that we love so much that we can grow to hate because some of the surroundings that we're in you may have even had some symptoms but didn't even even know that it was related to mental health. This isn't just for men, this is for absolutely everyone, male, female, or what you identify yourself as. If this is something of interest to you, and you feel like you need to reach out and chat, all sessions are private between Marv, yourself, and maybe someone that you want to bring along, if it's a parent, over at Letchworth Garden City Eagles Football Grand. Low self-esteem, anxiety, depression, the physical impacts of stress, headaches, fatigue, and lack of energy, changing sleep patterns, muscle wake and tension, changing appetite, relentless, rapid heart rate and breath, stomach aches and nausea. But there's also psychological impacts of stress, frustration and irritability, feelings of sadness and helplessness, feeling overwhelmed, lack of motivation, low confidence, difficult problem solving, difficult making decisions, poor memory, feeling of worry, panic and fear, lack of concentration and focus. But anyways, that's another chat. I'll let Marv explain more. <laughs> My name is Marvin, mental health officer for Let's Wrap Eagles. Mental health is a strong word, so let me break it down for you as easy as possible. Mental health is a state of mind, both positive and negative. If your state of mind is negative for a long period of time, this is classified as poor mental health, and it's that simple. So there's nothing to be scared of when seeking help for a negative state of mind. I support people in two phases. First phase is the player. Now if a player is going through anything that may affect their performance levels or prospects or general change in attitudes, then I support these players. And that could be from being injured, being bullied, coming back off a trial, going to a trial, whatever it may be, social, family, sporting arena, it doesn't matter what it is. If your child or you yourself are going through anything that affects your performance levels, then I'm here to support you. The second phase is parents. Throughout my experience, I've understood that parents are under great pressures, whether it be work, mind fatigue, whatever it may be, us as parents, we go through our own pressures. And sometimes when we go through a negative mindset, subconsciously approach things with our children slightly differently, which may affect their mental health. So when you've got too fake, go to the dentist. <laughs> when you're not feeling well, you go to the doctor's. When you got anything to do with your eyes, you go to opticians. Are you blind? You can't see me! If you're overweight, you might want to go to the gym. Game? It's a game! Personal trainer or weight loss class. But if you're going through any form of negative mindset, who are you going to call? You come and see me. So please, don't suffer in silence. Help is available. The website will be in the description below and at the top of this screen if you want to go and check it out. It's www.innerselflifecancelling.co.uk. You know what to do.